Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, first of all, I apologise if my voice sounds like complete and total garbage. Um, Where's Simba? It's uh, just that um, I am uh, currently recovering from a cold. <laughs> I've come back, uh, feels like I've said that for a lot of these last few f uh, fucking... These last couple of months. But anyway. So last part, we uh, basically Simba had run off and was being a bit of a bitch, <laughs> and so in uh, and so we were going to help him to uh, get his confidence back so he could go defeat the Scar Ghosts and save the uh, save the Pride Lands. Are you with me? And uh, that's what he's just done. He just said. Basically, boo to Scar, and he just ran off like a little coward. So, yeah, I cut this off kind of prematurely and kind of badly. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's officially time now for the final boss of Pride Lands revisit. And this one, um, we don't have Goofy or Donald, we only have us and Simba. So I think that means, yeah, we can't use a drive form. Oh, we can't use a drive form in this world anyway, but um, it kind of sucks that we can't. But anyway, I... So anyway. Uh, I actually kind of like this boss, actually. Uh, I like his design anyway. It looks kind of interesting. Um, but essentially... Uh... What we've essentially got to do here is not use Wildcat because that was a uh, pretty poor. Actually, that did work quite well. It's basically you want to get up onto the top and start whacking him in the face. Uh, once you uh, so yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. You just basically got to get up onto his back and start whacking on his face here, and that will uh, and just keep going like. Uh, to be honest, this is probably one of the harder bosses in the game. Um, of course, I can't use magic, so uh, yeah, make sure you've got your potions set up, otherwise you're going to be fucked. But yeah, it's a kind of, basically it has a lot of attacks, which can cause a lot of damage if you're not careful. So what you want to do is... Yeah, and I'm just... I don't know what it is with me. I I struggle to use the um I struggle to remember to use the like the quick recovery because I'm a bit of a dumbass like that. Oh, I think we had a bit of a error in judgment here, but um I think that was a bit of a video glitch. That's not good. Anyway, um Wildcat is pr probably the best option to use here, and I fell down because, uh, of course I did. Yes, I know we're going to want to attack the head. Yeah, so you can still cause it damage from down here as well by attacking the head. But uh, you cause more damage by getting up onto its back and uh, attacking the, uh, you know, the, the, the head up there. You can cause damage like this, though. Which is pretty cool. I like how there's multiple ways to attack this enemy. Attack this boss. And I'm doing okay at the moment. Oh shit. Right, I recovered. Alright, let's uh, chase him down. Like I say, this guy has a lot of attacks. Uh, he's kind of irritating to deal with. Um, basically... This is the quick, uh, from what I understand, the quickest, from what I've experienced, the quickest way to deal with it. Uh, yeah, just keep pressing the triangle button and you knock him down. And you can start wailing on him if you, if I wasn't in such a bad spot. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's also a, a way to allow you to um, get back up onto his back. Uh, much easier, but uh, it's not particularly 
Yeah, there you go. So now we're just waiting for his head to show back up. And yeah, he's causing a lot of... Like I say, he has a lot of attacks. A lot of his attacks can cause a foot down of damage, including these energy beams and fuck you. <laughs> but uh, easy enough to get straight back up. And now I'm trying to... It can be irritating to try and get hits on him at various points as well. Just because his head keeps moving. Well, we're nearly done now. Nearly over. And this should do it. Alright, keep hitting him. We're almost done. Oh, shit. Like I say. Not particularly difficult, but man, does can he hit really hard if you're not careful. So we've got now Thundaga, and uh, Simba's got a maximum HP increase, which is kind of pointless, <laughs> since we're not going to be using Simba again. Um, but, yeah, uh, the fact that we've got the most powerful Thunder element, elemental magic, that's pretty good. And... That monkey's down on his ass. So yeah, that's all the uh, s you know, it's all the um, scar ghosts dealt with with one blow. So go fuck yourself. And I think that's the first rate uh, during this playthrough. Anyway, the first regular boss I've died to in this whole game. <coughs> My apologies if you heard that. Um, but yeah, this is the first boss I've died to this run, which is. Um, do you think your quest not too bad, I guess. Over? It's just a. Uh, I, <sighs> I was just being uh, o overly. I just threw caution out the window. Uh, the struggle never ends. Of course. That is the great circle of life. Never ever. The secret to victory. Yeah, that's not really what Sora wanted it's to hear right there. <laughs> I know you're trying to be nice, Rafiki, but uh, Jesus Christ. Go on. Didn't quite where you know it's not what Sora was to hear right at this moment in time. The voice is relatively good, I think, for for Rafiki here. Relatively close to the um, original um, actor. I can't remember who the original actor who played Rafiki was. It's been a while. All right, but now we need to fuck off. Right, Pride Lance is done. Uh, Simba's going to be a decent king, it looks like. And uh, the Pride Lance are going to go back to normal. So, there you go. We're all done with our revisit. I don't like that. The Sora uh, lion head. Return of the King. Good film. Anyway. Uh, so, we're now officially done with that. So, what have we got next? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. So, here's the thing. The next two or three parts... I've put it off for long enough. It's time for Atlantica. It's time for musicals. I think we've got... um. Uh, three chapters to go through. So, we've got chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. Um... Uh, so we're trying to lift Ariel's mood at this point. So what you want to do is you want to get... Um, I think in order to lift her mood, you have to get her... If you get uh, the highest score, which I believe is excellent, then that raises her mood, uh, and you have to get her to the top. Uh, if you just hit it in the middle, in the orange section, then that's just like... It keeps it steady. Shit. Oh shit, I fucked up there. Oh shit. I, I can't believe how badly I did it <laughs> early on. So yeah. You want to keep hitting excellence. Uh, Sebastian always gets the uh, raw end of the stick. So you wanting to get uh, Ariel to get, like I say, good kind of keeps you at level and excellent uh, pushes you up. Uh, you want to get as many excellences as you can without getting any bads. 
and basically you just want to try and get it to the top um, of the uh, gauge uh, before the end of the song so yeah you just want to get it up to the very top uh, 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 and once you've done that then you should then you'll be good I have to be honest it's probably one of my f favorite Disney tracks at least it's very it's a very um it's a very catchy song to be fair and I think that they do a pretty good um, rendition of it here to be fair I'm not 100 percent sure whether it's a re-recording or whether it's taken from the film I th think I think it is a re-recording because um you know you've got Sora uh, and yeah and yeah it's definitely a re-recording because Sora's um, a part of the vocals um but there we go clear we're done <sighs> it basically is the thing Atlantica is it's not, what I wanna say. it's not an appalling world it's just that I see it as kind of fucking pointless it's retelling the same story from Kingdom Hearts 1 there's nothing to do with Organization 13 like literally not a goddamn thing and it's basically just button presses, time button presses uh, to get through songs and then some story cutscenes and I just uh, I don't know I don't know I just don't see the point of it oh shit Sebastian yeah you had to open your big fat trap you stupid you stupid grab <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's just a uh, bizarre. It's uh, weird how they tell the same story again. <laughs> it's just like, come on. I mean, I don't re. I've never seen. I've only ever seen the original Little Mermaid. I've never seen um, the sequels. I think there is at least one. Um, <clears throat> from what I remember, but uh. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Jesus Christ, this is worse than the Winnie the Pooh stuff. At least the Pooh stuff is kind of like fun mini games that you can do. This is just fucking tedious. And something else that happens here, which is um, if you leave a load of them to do one after the other after the other, you can't just go through all of them one after another after another after another. You are forced out of the overworld and have to go back into it. Oh, that's this dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Oh, I... I'm sorry, I don't like it. It, it seems really pointless. It, I kind of feel the same way about uh, Winnie the Pooh World and Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just completely and utterly pointless and lasts for about 10 seconds. It's pointless. Oh, another video glitch. Oh my god, that's bad. And once again, just like in the, in the Kingdom Hearts 1 version, she d he destroys... Because in the original, I think in the first one he sh he destroys like a a glass um, trident thing, uh, and here he destroys the statue. So I mean, <sighs> I mean it is it does look very nice. Oh shit. Oh my god. So, Ariel knows she's a witch. And Ariel knows that she was banished. So, she is going to go along and trust with what this sea witch says, who's been banished by her father. 
Uh, it's so it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, she just doesn't. It's kind of the irritating thing. <laughs> Thinking about it later, that she really doesn't use her brain <laughs> here, like at all. It's just like, hmm. Do you not maybe think that this is a uh, going to be that she's going to want to? Uh, screw you over to get over it to get to your dad because she wants revenge on her dad that's kind of fucking obvious don't you think that's you know shouldn't you just use some common sense here please use some common sense but you're not are you because then we wouldn't continue the story if that was the case <sighs> can you tell I don't like the Atlantic section <laughs> oh it's more f at least the Kingdom Hearts 1 there was fucking gameplay. I mean, it sucked. But <laughs> I, I shouldn't say it sucked. It wasn't particularly good. It wasn't my favourite part of the game. But at least there was good, uh, you know, combat gameplay, good exploration and all that kind of shit. Here, there's nothing. There's nothing here. It's just a bunch of mini-games. Of timed button mini-games. And it's just like, we've got the Winnie the Pooh wheel. Why do we need this? All For all say. eternity. <laughs> read the small print. Read the small print. <laughs> For God's sake, read the small print. For oh, you dumb, you dumb bitch. What are you doing? Here you go. Ariel, don't. Sora, please. You got to stop her, man. A bit too late Wait. there, um, Flounder. To be fair. Well, sorry, you could have used your keyblade there a little bit, lad. Rather than just, you know, trying to run into it using your face. Ah, there goes the voice. There goes her voice. Which, by the way, this makes no fucking sense. I'm not talking about the magic part of it. I just mean, like... You know... Yeah, I'll turn you into a human, but I'm going to get rid of your voice. How are you going to talk to Eric and tell him that you love her? That... Sorry, fuck. Tell him that you love him if you can't speak. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Ariel. Do you have no common sense, love? Are you the girl? Apparently not. Huh. <sighs> She can't speak to you, dude. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> Although I do think they get the uh, animations uh, uh, pretty well done here, like of how, uh, like when she loses her voice, she becomes a lot more kind of animated and expressive with her movements and stuff, and that. Uh, it, Translates fairly well here. Not perfectly, but pretty decently well. Yeah, uh, sorry, you might not... You might want to... Uh, you might not want to be in, uh, in sight there. Could cause, could cause problems. Thank you. Please, come with me. I want to help you. Oh, I think she's far beyond help, my friend. But anyway. Yeah, that's it for this part of Kingdom Hearts 2. Join me next time. Where, um... Next part is definitely more, um... What is it? It's more of this crap. <laughs> Sorry, fucking hell. Um, it's more of, uh, Atlantica stuff. Uh, I think there's another couple of parts of this, at least. Uh, so... Join me next time for the next part of Kingdom Hearts 2 when we're going to be doing more Atlantica stuff. And I'm going to be wishing I were dead. Anyway, see you next time.